treasure island at the western edge of the Pacific Ocean is blessed with the abundance of nature in every season of the year. In Taiwan, agriculture is not just a business, it's a way of life. to the refined, from merely putting enough food on the table to supporting healthy and sustainable lifestyles. Through changing times, Taiwan's agriculture has continuously progressed to serve the evolving needs of our island's people, demonstrating the unique value of this sector. Taiwan's agriculture is productive and dynamic. The island's complex topography and climate foster great biodiversity and thus support a wealth of different crops. Taiwan's farmers are hardworking and optimistic and eager to learn and experiment. For its part, the government works efficiently and innovatively to help farmers prosper and build a sustainable agricultural environment that strikes a balance between quality of life, production and ecology. Taiwan's agricultural sector today generates an economic output valued at nearly 480 billion New Taiwan dollars per year. Some 540,000 people, or 5% of the total population, are engaged in farming. Primary agricultural output creates 1.8% of Taiwan's gross domestic product. When related activities such as agricultural processing and farm-based recreation are also taken into account, the percentage rises to 11% of GDP. Agriculture plays a vital role in Taiwan's food security, rural development and ecological conservation. Rice is Taiwan's most important crop. The top livestock products are chicken and pork. Taiwan is also known worldwide for both aquaculture and deep sea fishing. And Taiwan is rightly called a fruit kingdom for the island produces a wide range of different fruits throughout the year. In summer, over 20 kinds of fruit are harvested. In bygone days in Taiwan, farming was the most important occupation. But arable land was limited, as some 60% of the island was covered with forests. On average, each farm family cultivated around one hectare. This traditional small farm model kept operating efficiency and profit margins low. In the 1980s, large areas of farmland began to be left idle as people moved out of rural areas, the farming population grew older, and Taiwan's market was open to imports of staple foods. In recent years, the government has introduced a new policy to reactivate idle farmland in order to ensure food security, enhance food self-sufficiency, and inject new vitality into agriculture. Old farmers, unable or unwilling to keep on working, are encouraged to lease or sell their land to younger people who want to go into farming. Young farmers are also provided with other forms of support, including assistance in finding land, low-interest loans, technical training, and marketing guidance. Meanwhile, many residents of rural areas are eager to get involved in community regeneration. A bottom-up consensus has thus emerged to forge a brighter future for rural communities. 
the government also operates more than 10 agricultural research and extension stations in different parts of Taiwan. In addition to research and development, they are responsible for frontline agricultural extension work, farmer training, guidance in cultivation methods, and the prevention and control of pests and diseases. In the event of natural disasters, they also assist farmers in mitigating losses and restoring production. There are government-assisted farmer organizations throughout Taiwan, including 302 farmers associations, 40 fishermen's associations, and 17 irrigation associations. They provide a range of services, including agricultural extension, supply and distribution, and financial services such as credit and insurance. They represent an important channel through which the government can communicate with and serve grassroots farmers. Farmers can join their local farmers association and enroll in the National Farmers Insurance Program, giving them greater security both at work and in everyday life. Under government supervision, the credit departments of farmers and fishermen's associations provide capital and other banking services that are secure and reliable. These have proven extremely important during Taiwan's agricultural development. Many farmers think of them and the agricultural research stations as their most important business partners. In former times, most agricultural production was household-based. This small farm model suffered from high costs and low profitability. In recent years, the government has been encouraging farmers to form production and sales groups or cooperatives and set up large-scale zones to specialize in farming selected crops. Priority is given to crops that can substitute for imports, organic produce, and crops with high export potential. With technological improvements, both quality and profitability have risen greatly. Agriculture is no longer a disadvantaged sector, advancing toward greater professionalism and specialization. But the government also works proactively to preserve the local character of agriculture. Localities market their own produce locally. Technologies have been developed for manufacturing rice flour products to stimulate rice consumption. The foodstuffs and specialty products of rural areas are linked with local cultural elements and tourist attractions to develop exquisite craft products and souvenir gifts. All these add value to local agricultural produce. Improved crop varieties, advanced growing techniques, and continuous innovation in business models combine to provide the strongest basis for Taiwan's agriculture to remain competitive. Taiwan is home to a world-famous electronics industry. This technological strength also carries over into local agriculture, helping it to improve production capabilities and adapt to climate change. The government works closely with the private sector. Transfers of improved plant varieties and animal genetics, as well as other technology transfers, are underpinned by comprehensive protection of intellectual property rights. This brings great commercial benefits to farmers and businesses. Based on the proven model of industry clusters, the government has built an agriculture-based biotechnology park that integrates R&D and production and brings businesses close to both suppliers and customers. This strategy is attracting leading domestic and foreign companies working in such areas as animal vaccines, biological agents, ornamental fish and flowers to locate and invest in the park. Will make Taiwan's agricultural sector more competitive overseas. In addition to driving agricultural upgrading through research and development, in recent years, the government has also been working to develop cloud services for the agricultural sector. Farmers can use data from the agricultural production cloud in both production and sales. Meanwhile, the agriculture and food cloud provides an integrated food traceability network to assure consumer safety. When it comes to food, people are no longer content just to eat their fill. Consumers today also demand health and safety. Taking a lead from developed countries, the government has established comprehensive systems for traceability throughout the food production and distribution channels and for certification of organic and high-quality produce. Farmers are helped to comply with certification standards such as TGAP, Taiwan Good Agricultural Practice, 
to ensure plant crops, aquatic products, and livestock products are dependably safe. Assuring product safety from the farm to the dining table is crucial to securing consumer trust. Agriculture in Taiwan is no longer confined to the production of primary products or content with basic processing of its produce. Today, it has the strategic goal of creating new agricultural value chains by adopting new enterprise models with enhanced innovative, value-added and cross-sectoral integration. And using market liberalization to bring Taiwan's agriculture into line with international needs and increase market opportunities. Ornamental fish make an excellent example. Besides developing new varieties, Taiwan's fish farmers are also proactive in developing product lines in aquarium equipment and materials. Exporting these items together has become a competitive line of business. Other promising areas are the extraction from traditional agricultural products of health-promoting functional substances, finding applications for byproducts of agricultural production, developing experimental plant and animal varieties for biomedical purposes, and using technology to match agricultural production to market demand. All help push the value of Taiwan's agriculture to new levels. The past few years have seen agricultural tourism gaining popularity in Taiwan. In every season of the year, growing numbers of domestic and foreign visitors now spend time at farms of many different styles. Harvest fruit at Pick Your Own Fruit Farms. Go hiking or bird watching in forest parks. Or take boat trips for angling or whale watching. Agricultural tourism gives people the opportunity to open up their senses and experience Taiwan's flavors to the fullest. With the economies of different nations becoming highly liberalized, Taiwan is actively seeking to sign cooperative accords with trading partners around the world, enabling us to share with them our quality agricultural products and extraordinary technical achievements. Each year, Taiwan exports some 5 billion US dollars worth of farm, aquatic and livestock products, including fruits, flowers, edamame, and tea. Two countries such as Japan, mainland China, Singapore, the US, Canada, and the Middle East. The excellent quality of these products is valued by consumers around the world. Taiwan also provides partner countries with aid in the form of high quality food crop resources and farming techniques. Taiwan contributes to the world via its participation in the international community. Taiwan is firmly committed to protecting the environment with self-discipline and sustained progress. We abide by international conventions on conservation and enforce rigorous disease prevention, control and reporting protocols. Taiwan's call at the APEC Forum for countries to uphold food security by reducing losses and waste in agricultural production has won widespread endorsement. These efforts reflect the Taiwanese philosophy of sustainable harmony between man and nature. Taiwan occupies a uniquely privileged geographical location close to the emerging consumer markets of both mainland China and the ASEAN countries. Thanks to its diligent, friendly farmers and solid technical base, it can offer high-quality, safe farm products. Taiwan is a premier choice for investments and strategic alliances in the domain of agriculture. Given its extraordinary prowess and enviable accomplishments, Taiwan's agriculture has served as a foundation for national development and social stability over many years. We live in an ever-changing world that constantly brings new challenges. But Taiwan's government and farmers will never become complacent. Always full of optimism and drive, they are working hard to build a better tomorrow.